Okay, so this is the, my final project for EC5760 and uh, it's a video game that's controlled by people's gesture and I call it anti-Tetris because uh, the main purpose of this game is avoid the blocks falling down to the ground and by pushing or in other words hitting the blocks on the screen. Um, and I can see it's tracking your hand right now. Yeah, uh, by you know uh, a skin detection algorithm and uh, a iteration for tracking hands, the cursors can track my hands like that. Okay, so it's tracking my hand now. Yeah. So if you push together the game stars like this, and you can just do that. Okay. Now I'll move out of the. Now it's tracking your hands. So you can, like this, you can hit the, hit the block that's falling down. And the green one is the good one. It's like a bomb that can, uh, okay. Whoa. So, so what's being so, detected when you move your hand very quickly? Uh, it's, is it? I, I, I uh, from the cursor, I can get the top bottom of my skin region. And if the, if the uh, top and the bottom of bottom line of the skin region is changing rapidly, like uh, two pixels per frame or something like that, it uh, it's determined like a push. And when you when it's detected, you are pushing, and um, the cursor is on the blocks. The blocks. Disappear. Okay, so the motion is you have to make is to push towards the screen with your hand then to, to wipe out a block. Yeah, yes, okay. but uh, you can but do keep just like this, it right. works too. And but you but so you have to push towards the screen and keep the cursor on the on the yeah. block. Okay, let's see you do it again. Okay. So you so so you let me get out of the, the out of the so you at, capture the cursors. Yeah, at first you have to push your, push both of hands at the same time to start like this. Okay. And just move the cursor around the blocks and just so almost hit like it. <laughs> it's not it's not that sensitive because the algorithm and it made it not too sensitive because you know it's a good exercise to push your hand count constantly. I see, so you get a little upper body exercise while you're doing it. So it's not just like the usual engineering stuff where you sit around all the time. Yep, that's right. Right. I intensely, you know, increase the threshold of the pushing, so they have to push it really hard and really rapidly. That it can you know, erase the blocks. Now this is, tell me a little bit about the technology. It's, a, it's built on an FPGA. Yeah, it's built on Altera D2 board, and um, yeah, basically that's it. And uh, the input signal is the is an NTSC uh, video camera. So that's the camera I'm looking at mm -hmm. there. And okay. uh, the hardware coder is on the board, um, and I use the uh, Altera IP that decode the signal from NTSC to uh, a YUV or RGB value. Mm -hmm. I filtered all the uh, signals in YUV scale because that's the easiest way to detect skins. Okay, so the so you're using the U and V signal to detect skin? Yep, that's uh -huh. correct. Okay. Um, and the final score is on the board. The red one is like the 64 now is how long in seconds can you last in this game. Uh -huh. And that, that 12 is how many blocks you have. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you.